Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chris P. 44S back again from PR GameFit. I'm going to show you guys how to kill the Mad Alchemist. The strategy I use is pretty easy. I pretty much just slash the hell out of him. I played him like six or seven times before and kept trying to use a sh uh, one handed sword and shield and be kind of <clears throat> strategic about it. And that shit didn't work at all. So really all you have to do, equip your strongest weapon, two-hand it, and cut the hell out of him. Because the Mad Alchemist actually doesn't have any melee attacks, so if you just stay close to him, he'll actually try to run away. And if you get him to the top level, his purple scythe things that are really badass will be a lot less effective. Moving on to the False Jester, the first thing I want to point out is you can actually bypass entering his area and just go right around him I will point out where his gate is right now that being said I actually suggest that the first time you get here you go around it anyway because around the back there is actually a sanctuary so if you're going to fight him Instead of going all the way from the sanctuary before this, fighting those hellhounds and archers and losing health and potentially using a potion, you can walk around, crank that gate, and hit the sanctuary here. This will make it a lot easier if you die to respawn and fight him again. And you guys also might be wondering about these black obelisks that you've seen earlier in the game and have no idea how to use them. But first, we are going to go fight the false gesture. And what I did was I actually used some of this lightning stuff because I'm a mountain man and every time I hit a sanctuary that I can pray at or level up at, they give me the lightning stuff, which works really well. And I actually used a sword and a shield, I believe, for most of this fight. I did, however, start off two-handing a sword, but then about right about um, right about here, I switched it up. And what I really did was I kind of actually just walked right at him. And a lot of times when he would go to strike, he would jump right over me, and or swing, and just kind of get through me and pretty much turn his back and give me a really easy opening to unleash a couple hits return to block phase through him and just keep pounding away slashing away until eventually he was dead the first time I tried I actually tried to keep my distance and he's actually kind of a beast so at least for these two bosses that I just talked about just stay right up on him, keep moving into him, keep slashing, and everything should work out okay. Proceed, uh, shall we? <laughs> um, the Black Obelisks. So what you're going to do after you fight the Fault Chester is you're going to run up those stairs. And through this gate is the real Jester. He's going to ask you some weird questions. And whenever it prompts you, just say yes. And what he's actually going to do is brand you. So, part of this game, there are, I, I guess, talents or whatever called brands. And when you get branded, it'll give you a special ability, like using the obelisks. And what the real Jester's brand will do is actually give you the ability to go um, introvert or something. <laughs> I don't know. It basically flips you upside down, and then you walk on the ceiling. Um, I'm pretty sure there's another one that actually gives you a double jump. I haven't seen them all. This was the first one I got to, but when I was playing early in the game, I was like, I kept seeing these these black stones, the black obelisks, and I was like, what the hell? Like, how do I do this? So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you around in the next one.